Hello, my name is Luis Soengsen, and I'm a clinical AI researcher. So today we want to brief you on our latest publication in Science Relational Medicine, using deep learning in order to assess suspiciousness of skin pigmented lesions from wide field images. So the first question that you may have is how exactly do dermatologists do the assessment of suspiciousness in pigmented skin lesions today? Well, it turns out that it's a feature extraction process, but it's one that is very rarely done at the single lesion level. Rather, a dermatologist would take all the extracted features from all the pigmented lesions in the body of a patient and then make determinations about which ones are the most dissimilar to others in order to pinpoint to the ones that need to be evaluated with much more detail. This is the so-called ugly doctrine criteria, which is at the center of our publication and this new paradigm of evaluation of skin pigmented lesions that we want to bring today. So the next question that you may have is how do we envision this type of technology to be used in the clinic? Well, one can certainly imagine putting these architectures inside edge devices that can be placed, for example, in a primary care office. So that at the time of the consultation, a full analysis of all the skin visible regions of a patient could be evaluated in order to pinpoint to the suspicious pigmented lesions that may need further exploration or a referral. So finally, what are the remaining obstacles and barriers that we see for the utilization of these type of technologies for widespread clinical use? Well, first, the advent of larger, higher quality data sets, for example, that have higher representation of skin of color, higher spread of imaging devices, lighting conditions and environmental conditions, that's always something that is gonna help this type of systems move forward into actual clinical use. Secondly, the evaluation of these type of systems in a randomized and prospective way is something that, even though we acknowledge as a limitation in our current research, is very much in our side. It's something that we would like to further advance in next iterations of our system. And with that, we wanna thank the readers and the entire community of Science Relational Medicine we hope you enjoy our research and find it useful.